appreciate y'all being here tonight. Um, try to get this get this budget knocked out. And so folks out of the clerk's office can start operating on 15s, right? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I hear you. So uh, with that being said, um, we've got Judge Barry Vaughn here, and uh, he has requested to speak to us for, for just a few minutes. Uh, concerning some of the budget items with the court, I'm assuming. Okay. And uh, so at this time, Judge? Okay, gentlemen, thank you. I won't take much of your time, but I know uh, y'all got lots to do, and uh, if you're like me, you don't like looking at numbers. Um, I've always said that you got a good CPA, a good count, buddy. They can make those numbers say anything you want them to say, <laughs> yeah, you know? And so uh, I'm, I'm not gonna talk too much about numbers, but I am gonna talk about um, what, uh, what we're facing uh, as of the first of this month. Um, we've got uh, copies of job descriptions here um, that you can see. I'll just pass these out. Uh, Ken, do you want to help do that sure. part of place, sir? Just, just those job descriptions? Yes, sir. This is the additional duties that the magistrates and Ken are basically going to have, or have now as of the first of the month. Now the JCS is no longer there. Uh, we've got to account basically on a monthly basis for a little over 2,000 probationers every month in addition to keeping up with all the normal court activities that we have. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a simple situation. I've looked at the both budgets. Karen sent me copies of the budget and I've looked at those and, you know, and, and, it's, and it's already in there where you actually took away at our request $12,000 from the defense fund, from the fair trial tax, because we took away one public defender from each court session. So that saved the city $12,000, you know. But then you look at the budget, and we're, we, our budget is $16,000 less than what it was before, you know. So I, I'm sitting here going, and I, and I talk about there's a $350,000 uh, funds budget in there. Well, that's, we don't know what money's gonna come into the court. We handle what we handle. And you look at the past five years, and it kind of fluctuates up and down. Tickets are down, but you know, fines are down slightly. But who's to say what's going to happen this next year? You look at the back past five years, we've brought in over two million dollars into the city coffers over the past five years. So to say this year's going to be three fifty, or next year's going to be three fifty, or five hundred, we don't know. All I do know is that we've got a tremendous problem on our hands with what to do with all this additional work. And like I said before. You've got two basic choices. You can hire somebody, and you may have to hire three people. If you hire three people, we're looking at a heck of a lot more money than what we're talking about here. With the 27000 that we've asked for, that's going to incentivize the folks to actually do the work that they're actually doing now. They started doing now. We've got, uh, what was the figure? Ken, I can't remember what Amber told me was the number of uh, uh, the fine, the, the monitoring fees we've got in so far. 900 and something dollars, is that right? Uh, Does that sound right? Not 900 and something dollars we've got in, in the $10 monitoring fee already. And that's in the budget. That's a $50,000 item in the budget. But even with that, it looks like you know, we're, we're underwater still. And I know that uh, these, these employees of yours, but it looks to me like you know every time that the court makes money or has money, it gets taken into the city and spent for the jail, spent for everything that you can spend it for, which is, that's, that's y'all's, that's y'all's baby, because that's, that's your money to do what you see fit with. But what I don't want to see happen is that money taken and spent on the jail and other things when the court system itself needs it to survive. We've got to have that additional money to survive the, the issue that's been placed upon us by JCS being, being done away with. And what three people were doing at the local office here now we've got to spread out among the magistrates and have them to do. And those job duties, you know, they're going to be working and working. There's no time to rest. There's no time to take a break. There's no time to do anything. And we desperately need uh, that $27,000 in order to make, uh, make ends meet. Now, you ask me, where's the money coming from? Well, you were nice enough to take the 12. We said, here's $12,000. We'll save you. Well, now we want 27 back from somewhere. Now, where can you get it? Well, we're going to make $400,000 this year. That's our budget. Well, we just made that 
27 plus some. I mean, it's numbers. It's just numbers. That's all it is. I don't know where it's going to come from, but that's why y'all get the big bucks to figure that out. <laughs> you know, I don't vote on this council. Thank goodness. But I do know that we have to have that money from somewhere to keep the court system running. And as I told you before, guys, it's my responsibility. I'm responsible for that now. Since that, since that, uh, um, here, or the no, order came out you know, earlier this year that reversed the <coughs> withdrew the order in Shelby County on the award case, the Harpersville case. I am personally responsible, and I'm going to do my job. But I need your help with this one thing. And you voted to take the 12, spend it however you want to, save it. That's great. Now we've got to have that 27 in order to keep functioning, to keep the system in the in the uh, manner <coughs> which is been done. You know, somebody said, I don't know if it was Joe or maybe Rock, somebody said, you know, y'all don't ever come to us, ask for anything. No, we don't. We, we don't ever come to you and ask for anything. They hadn't needed to ask for anything, but with JCS gone, now we need it. This is the best solution, and we will make it work if y'all will give us that 27, and I'll get out of here and leave you alone. What was the what was the anticipated amount we were going to bring in as a result of doing away with JCS? Uh, 50. Right at fifty thousand, it's in the budget. But then, but you'd look at the budget, and then we were five hundred thousand last year, and we're three fifty this year. And you add the fifty to it, we still looks like we're underwater on paper. You know, that's what I'm saying. You can you know you pick a number. You know, let's say four hundred. They give us four fifty. Give us five hundred. We'd be five fifty. You know, it, it, it it's just it's just numbers. And uh, you know, I was talking to Karen earlier about you know. The, Paying back the money, there's this transfers and all that kind of stuff. I don't understand any of that. You know, I don't know how, how that works. I know there's a um, $49,000 certificate deposit. It's earning 0.5% interest. <laughs> you know, what's that? $250 a year. Yeah. You know, we could use that money to help fund this and stay alive and keep going. You know, so you have to forfeit the interest. <clears throat> you know, I'll I'll pay that. <laughs> Big deal, you know. That, there's some money there that we could use that was in the corrections fund that's designated for the court. We need it. Okay. Okay. All right. Any questions? Gentlemen? I apologize for taking more than five minutes, guys. Nah, you're fine. I All knew right. that would happen. All right. <laughs> See y'all. Thank you. Appreciate it, Judge. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Okay, fellas. So... Let's uh, now, like I said, I don't, I don't think it's efficient to go line by line, but we will start at the top with revenues. Do, do we have? I mean, like, oh, you have changes. I'm sorry. Well, it, I mean, we hadn't gone over anything yet, so if you want to go, yeah, if you, you guys change, uh, changes, uh, we if you got some. Okay, we do have an. And okay. I highlighted yes. any changes. There's probably about 15 things. It's to change. different, yeah. It's okay. different from from the copy you got the other day. Yes. It's gray uh, in so the, the 2015 fiscal year budget copy. So the so the gray you are the changes, right? Yes, okay, good deal. Um, so let's start in revenues, guys. Does any does anybody have anything marked up in revenues? I mean, it it pretty much. It is what it is, so to speak. I hate that expression, but <laughs> it's that's what we get. That's right. Um, I, um, <laughs> you know, I really didn't. I really don't have anything as far as revenues go. I don't. I just want to clarify right. for fines. We did lower fines revenue expectations because fines have been steadily decreasing. They've gone from like five to four fifty to four. So. Ken and I actually sat down, and he, he had a pretty good reckoning from what's just happened recently as far as extrapolating that. And so we took fines revenue from $500,000 expectation last year to three fifty dollars for this year. However, we did add that $50,000 for that $10 per defendant mm -hmm. per month. So that's four hundred, dollars which is actually decreasing the expectation $100,000. And let's just remember that ten dollars is per defendant, not per case. case right. So, and one of the things about on the correction fund, uh, we, we gave the council voted to give Kansas a raise last term, and didn't we 
say that we was going to take that out of the corrections fund and we have not been able to. It was a year before that. Now and we haven't been able to transfer that <coughs> out as we as needed, like we said we was going to do. So. Well, I, right. I don't know. Do y'all want a quick history? We subsidized Metro Jail. We subsidized some printers and things for the court office, some laptops, mm -hmm. as well as that salary increase for Ken. I think it was a year and a half ago or something like that. <coughs> we budget those transfers, and if there's not enough, we look at receivable in hopes to pay it off. And to that end, as well as lowering the revenue expectation, we took away any corrections fund budget transfer for this year in hopes that the corrections fund would be able to pay off that debt this year, whereas normally we would be subsidizing. We're not this year. We're just giving them a chance to catch up. Okay. I got you. I have a couple of questions. All right. What you got? Um, <coughs> line 321, building and inspection fee. Mm -hmm. We've dropped down from what we had budgeted. Um, why is that? I mean, what would make us drop down on that? Just not enough, not enough business, or not as much business as we had going on. You're asking why we budgeted 25 and only came up with 19. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, and, and even in the past, we budgeted 30, 30, 25, and now we're down actual to 19. I just wondered what what that was. Why? Where are you? Building Where are you? inspection. 321. Oh oh. It was in response to the fluctuation that we had, and we did have personnel changes there. You know, we didn't have a an officer there for a while, and then Mike came in, and then we put him on the project. So it's been really volatile. So we were responding to that movement and trying to make a good average guess. And online three two eight five zero. Oh. MC monthly monitoring fee. Mm -hmm. That's the new one. It was fifty thousand dollars we had. That's the new one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Joe, your history <coughs> is you see where I copied that, so your history looks different. Mm -hmm. That's that's the same history as for special as for fines that you're looking at. But yeah, we're, and that number was from Ken, and, and honestly, it's a guess because all we have is 30 days. That's and right. Yeah. Just from the number of cases that he knew he was taking on and the number of defendants, he, he made a good estimate, and he actually gave me the, the formula using to kind of figure it out, and it, it made sense, so that's what we went with. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Revenues. Any more questions? Yes? No? Maybe? Um, I'm, I'm just looking at my highlights. And I told Karen we need to be a, kind of conservative. I don't, I'd don't. i rather be a little conservative I agree. Than, to, than to go overboard. And we were. Those, we were conservative as best we could be. We did inch up those three highlighted areas, but as you can see from this year's performance, it's not overzealous. I yeah, I have one other there. question. Police contributions. Mm -hmm. What are those contributions? Where does that come from? That's like the carnival. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Pants. Walmart might yeah, just do a laptop just or, or something. Yeah, that's right. Does that include any of that federal stuff? The Humvees and Mm -hmm. Now there, there wasn't any. I didn't think yeah. so. for a budget of five thousand last year, we brought in seventeen sixty. This year we're going to go back to budgeting five thousand. Hang on, I could tell you what came in this year. Thank Where you are you Joe. now, Joe? What's the number? Next to the last line on uh, page three. Thirty-six one zero seven. Okay. Bear with me one second. We got all the history here. <coughs> What's the GL number, Joe? 36107. 
next to the last line in there. What was your question? What was in there for this year? Well, the question was we're budgeting five thousand, but last year we brought in seventeen sixty. I I know Did we just have a down year and well I know the carnival was off this year and that's a big that's a big one the carnival is a big fundraiser so I know that it was off now I'm sure now last what year if I'm not mistaken right? I think the carnival funds I think they went through the board of education instead of coming to us so that could be all of it I mean they I got you but you expect to bring back another five thousand well, dollars. This year. But I mean, it's that's a wash if we do because that's, you know, that's that's money that's used for the for the school resource officers and, and so you know, if we get that five thousand dollars back, then we're not, you know, it's not money that we can put in the general fund. Joe, I'm going to show. I'm showing less than two thousand for this year. Yeah, seventeen sixty. Okay. We received some from the chamber, from Fred's. Um, it looks like a personal contribution and Walmart as well. So none of the carnival went into that this year. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <clears throat> Did I just make that up? It has in the past, right? Um, it has, but last year, uh, when the kid called me and and they were doing some things, so um, for whatever reason they put it in the board of education, kitty, and then then they they paid it back out to them. Okay. So then that line has nothing to do with the SRO, right? Not nothing That's except that, that we didn't put the we didn't put the carnival money in there as as a contribution. No. That that's probably the difference. Because we've gone, we went from two hundred eighty nine to forty six twenty, up to sixty six twenty eight. No, I don't have anything in there. Yeah, the 6628, I'm sure, had the carnival in there. That was, mm -hmm. that was yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that's probably the difference. Mm -hmm. That's where that... Well, no, I've got... No, that's the D.A.R.E. program. But based on what normally gets put into that department, or that line item... Yeah, you we think were conservative. We'll, you think we'll be back to $5,000. That's what you budgeted. Hopefully so. Well... And it's not like I said, if we do, that's probably going to be the carnival. So, like I said, you can't you can't really count on that money to. Joe, what's three year average? You got an average sheet there. My three year average for that line. Three year average is thirty eight forty six. You think we should lower it? Is that what you're thinking? Well, that's that's all I was because I was wondering what went in there drastically drop and if we could drop that a thousand or two thousand dollars because I didn't know does what that include that three problem. years does that include the 1760 from 14 or is that the year no, three years prior three years prior so, so that average is going to drop yeah and I was getting at is if, there, if, if times are tough and we're not sure. getting donations like we used to sure. is this five thousand dollar budget an inac accurate yes that's all I was wondering because I didn't know what who, who contributes to the program. well and then there's things like you know we did the fundraiser for the for the bracelets I've ca I can't remember the the reason lifesaver yeah you know, so project we yeah, did project that and, uh, yeah. and all that money comes in there but but like I said it's all earmarked so uh, but that was probably that's probably another thing that was headed up it's difficult to project because we get mm -hmm. so many different sources and they're not consistent sources year to year. But we can lower that if you all decide, just to be conservative. If you take <clears throat> 5000 we're basically looking at a difference there of... Uh, let's see, $5,000 Looking at a difference of thirty two forty. <laughs> What if we met in the middle? We're still taking thirty-two four. And budgeted right. like thirty-four. Thirty-four hundred. What do you think, Jeff? That sounds fine to me. I I, I was if really you, just more you, asking questions to get the history and what goes in there. If you meet, if you meet in the middle, if you 
you subtract 1760 from 5,000, it leaves you with whatever I said. 34. 30, 32, yeah, 40. 40. All right, so half of that is 1620. You add 1620 to 1760, that brings you to 3380. Okay, you need 3480 then? I mean, I'm just, that's just a suggestion. That's fine to me. I need that somewhere. Don't do that. Okay. okay. 30 what? 3,400. 30, what? So it does go. <laughs> yeah, that does take it away. Puts us in the rear. So, Next make to the a note that the mayor gave us a deficit budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I gave you a uh, house budget. Maybe yeah, that's going to be on that back page, uh, like the fourth no, from the bottom. Sure. That's uh, line 36107. No, 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 I'm sorry. We're talking the back page of the ribbon. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, that's not a big deal because that, that account right there, you never know. All right. Okay, is that it in revenues, guys? All right. All right, moving on. Uh, Refresh our memory again, E and L department. E L department, what is what is that again? Executive and legislative. Okay. You all. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, we can just move past that. <laughs> y'all got any questions? E and L. So we're gonna need could we put a raise in there for the people yeah. here next time? Uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you must be playing with some okay. case when this case I lose my mind and side right. <laughs> All right, last year we, in travel and training in there, we had $12,000. We actually spent thirteen three sixty five. so we're going to have to watch that. Oh, the travel, yeah. Yes. So we went over. I do have a, a couple of questions. Now, this is, <coughs> this is the, Five council members and the mayor, is that correct? Mm -hmm. and that's it. And Denise. Denise. And Denise, okay. Well, that answers my sick pay and vacation pay question. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's answered. That's easy enough. Not that it's an extreme amount, it was just. Uh, and in that one, we put. Uh, Let's see. What you looking at? We put CDG money in that in that one, didn't we? In professional. E and L. Is that in professional? Yeah, fees? it's in other professional fees. We've budgeted twelve thousand for Chris Ross. Mm -hmm. Where's that? I'm sorry, two thousand for Chris Ross and thirteen six for special master. Where, where are you, Karen? He was looking at professional fees because that went up significantly. Professional fees. All right, now the where, the, where uh, is that on here? Uh, four that's one. four one five eight zero. Okay. Yeah, I had that highlighted too. Six thousand dollars higher. We went ahead and put in from that meeting y'all had the other night for that expense. Yeah. All right, now and that includes special master. Yeah. Okay. For the, and um, some a little bit of money for Chris Ross at CDG. Okay. That's related to the East Island. Uh, Chris Ross. Mm. No, that was for the. Um, that was for what we paid him to do the. We hired him to do the asbestos yeah, right. study and all that. And pre which, demolition which is, expenses. Yeah, 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 we yeah. Could get that back back from the grant. And we also put, and where did we put the money that we was going to put for the payment assessment? Oh, it's down at the bottom under appropriations. Yeah. It's on the last page. You just said all that. Why not down there? All right. It's so, not in your budget. Okay. Anybody got any E&L department expenses questions? All right. Good deal. All right. A and G. Karen. Um, the only thing I believe that's Refresh might be of interest to you, we, <laughs> that's, that's the most important department in the place. It, um, we did salaries, but we took the accounting clerk for half a year to try and economize there. Um, I lowered the audit file because I went back to the engagement letter 
this should be a pretty, I hope, easy thing to audit since it's the railroad and yeah. that's the, what they're going to have to audit. Um, so that's the number That's the only single audit we'll have to have state. this year? Mm -hmm. As of right now, yes. Um, looking for significant changes. Uh, there is 3,500 extra in travel and training because of Austin. Um, and that's just, which, that's not her person more, but oftentimes she, since she has the money, for lack of a better word, she her expenses come in on her expense. Um, Property insurance, general liability <laughs> insurance. I mean, yeah, you just kind of have to roll with what you had got last year and, and hope it doesn't go up too much. I got you. All right. Um, we did take um, data processing down because we had all those expenditures this year with the new computers, but that money was also offset by that one-stop grant. As yeah, well, that was so. huge. That came through in the clutch, by the way. So that department actually went down 67000 on, on 42503. 42503. Okay. Do your subscription. Mm -hmm. That was 21,000 versus a three year average of 2,200. Yeah. That is a, clearly a mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's probably a good old keying error right there. I'm sorry. We're budgeting 3,000. Yeah. And that shows we spent 21,000. I'll have yeah, to pull from Springbrook, Joe. I'm, I'm sure that's a key here. All right. But you know what? I can look right here. Hold on one second. No, it was just such a huge number. I just yeah. I wanted to know what that was. The, on, the only other thing I had highlighted, Karen, is postage expense. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another big number. Uh, the the machine rental is in there. Okay. Which line is that, Rocky? So I'm look at it. That's a uh, four two zero zero nine. Expense wise, you mean, not for the budget, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The fourteen unaudited is a little over eleven, and we're budgeting four four thousand. Okay. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I didn't see that either. That's really the only thing I had highlighted for that department. Oh. So Katniss funny. coming into the room? Yes. It's kind of eerie, though. Yeah, it is. I hate to be in a dark building in that start. <laughs> are, are you following me, Karen? Do I do. I okay. do. I'm looking right. it up. It's just this thing's so bulky, it takes me a minute to find it. We might need to not. Send out as much. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we spent eleven thousand dollars on stuff. Well, we've, gone, we've gone to a lot of electronic now. Yeah, we have. <clears throat> I'm showing actual expense of forty four ninety two sixty. So you're saying that's an error? Mm -hmm. Okay. Forty four what? What, what? Forty four ninety two sixty. Tom, that is four oh, two nine. zero nine. zero nine. That Eleven thousand dollars was an error. Say forty two what? Four four. Oh four four. Nine two sixty. Four two nine two. And last year we spent forty three hundred. So See, yeah, they're they're mixed up. Travel, that's what it is. Those two lines are inverse. Travel this year we've actually spent twelve four four eight, not two six nine six obviously. Twelve. Four, four, eight. Now I just ran this today, so it's going to be a little different than what I ran <clears> last week. 
and postage is the forty four ninety two. I apologize for that. No, that's fine. That's why we're here, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like I got my lines off. I'm not great at reading across the lines. I'm not either. That's why God made rulers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any more questions? It's not just a measure anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Publication ordinance was up quite a bit. Who? 42523 publication ordinance expense. Yeah, what we have to do? We had a bunch of stuff. Number again. We had to publish municipal code. Uh, that was $3,700. Five twenty-three. what? It said municipal code had to be published. I guess with a business license, um, thirty-seven hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> All right. G, A and G. Good. All right. Court department, guys. That's what Judge Vaughn was just here talking about. I knew we'd get to that tonight, so that's why I didn't start with it. But um, all right, we got to figure out what we're going to do. They requested twenty-seven thousand uh, to give their to give three of their four employees a raise and then to Plus give the department and yeah and, and, and Ken a raise. Which I think his was twelve thousand his was twelve thousand dollars a year. And then five thousand for each of the three employees. Is that right? I think that's what No, that's. I think it was three four thousand for each one of them. I've got it in there. Okay. And then three thousand dollars overtime. So, okay, yeah. that's right, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, Mayor, do you have any, and you probably, you might have asked this question, I don't know. My first question is, why are they requesting an increase for three when they have, when he has four? That has not been answered, I don't know. Uh, he got four employees. Down he has there. four employees. He's only requesting an increase for three. My basic understanding of of that, and again, this is very general because it, they're different positions and different times and and all, but it's comparison to other area, same positions at in other municipalities in our area, okay. along with the. Uh, the idea that they're going to be taking on a good bit more responsibilities right day to day but you're just saying that three of them are going to take on additional responsibilities no i'm saying that yeah. i think one of them is probably in line my my <clears throat> guess on that would be one of them was probably in line with what with the market value so yeah. to speak okay I, that's the only guess i could have okay if that's the way they break down all right while we're talking about that I didn't, we've had several requests for raises, uh, and I didn't put any raises in the budget. Uh, you know, I, I kind of treated them all the same. We, we've had re requests for raises in the street department. We've had requests in the coach department for raises um, and, the, and the court. So, you know, I did not put any, any of those requests in there because, to be honest, they're, I just, we're close, so that's the reason that no, other than the step raises that we normally give. Um, now, you know, Eddie Bentley's asked for two of his employees' raises, and uh, Tommy Woolley's asked for two of his raises, and um, and we've talked to some of the other departments that that they're, you know, they've got some employees that they feel like needs raises also. But we haven't increased their workload. Well, 
over the years, yes, it has increased. Mm -hmm. Not not dramatically right now. It has not, but but they they've had responsibility added to them. So. Now, one that does not show up as far as I can see in our revenues, the municipal court does have that was added by the state legislature. Uh, a small amount for each fine paid that goes into an administrative type fund that the, the judge and the clerk have access to spending on needs of the court. And I talked with both of them about the idea of using some of that money while we wait and see, because there's a, there's some big ifs in here as to what the revenues are going to be, yeah, and we've got some ifs. we've got some questions there. I'm I feel very confident that they're going to meet those uh, those, but in the meantime, of using that administrative fund as a source of revenues to fund those those raises. That would keep them from spending that money on other things that it's under their discretion, but they're the only ones that have the discretion over those funds. And I asked them both to ask the state if salaries were, and benefits were part of uh, what they could spend those monies, monies on, and I was assured that the answer was yes. That makes, that makes sense. Um, now, I do not have a specific, um, I forgot to ask exactly how much because I, I was assuming it was in, that that was in here and then came back later and found out it wasn't and didn't have the opportunity to ask either one of them how much money that fund generates and I couldn't find the paperwork and he sent us a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he asked. Lately. He I asked. couldn't find it easily in that. Do you not answer that? I did send an email out actually, I'm trying to remember what the number was. Twelve thousand, Tom. Do what now? Was it about twelve thousand? I have no idea. I didn't ask. I think it was. Did I copy you on that? Yeah, okay. I think it was. And I would look, y'all, but I don't have a connection up here. Because there were, there were two twelve thousand, and one of them was the the, uh, the rotating the, the defense the attorney. Defense attorney's office. Yeah. Well, there was another twelve thousand for something. Right. I, I don't think it's enough to cover all of it, but it is. Right, that's what I'm saying. Help. That's yeah. that's why I was bringing that up. Is that yeah. alleviate some of that? And I, I feel their pain, but that's twelve thousand that would go a long way toward this. Oh yeah. And also, while we're talking about that, we've had a, a request that we give the civil service board attorney another six thousand dollars a year. Yeah, let's, the let's, civil service board. Let's attorney. hold off on that just a minute. Well, let's, but I'm saying. That's that's another request. No, I'm saying let's let's just we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get there. Uh, we'll that's that next. In a little while. That's right? next. Um, for, I guess the first question, guys, that we need to answer, and I don't know that it's. I mean, I I, I, I would I would think that it would have to be something. I don't know. Let me ask y'all: Would if we decide to give said employees a a raise would that require formal action or would that just we would just roll that in the budget or how would that how would that go i'm not really sure how that would affect the well the, and i know steps. i know the only time it's ever not been in line with step raises was in the court office yeah. and that was especially approved but that's just my do, but when we did that, we had to adjust what step and where they were on right. that. So that's right. Step raises yeah, you're going to have to put them in different steps and grades and all that stuff. I know we're here to talk about, I know we're not here to talk, I know we're not here to meet and to talk about raises and things like that, but I, I think it, I think it coincides. If, if we need to figure out if, if this is something that we want to do, I mean, do we want to? Do we want to give them that? Do we want to give the court the money that they're asking for? Do we want to give them some of the money that they're asking for? Do we want to give them none of it? I mean, that's before I think before we can move forward as far as the court department expenses are concerned. That's I think that's number one. Is that something we're going to do or not? Well, I've been on I've been on a position in jobs before too, where you get 
more duties and responsibilities put on you, not necessarily to getting a raise. So I understand what you said earlier. Um, but at the same time, I wasn't in a position where I was generating that many more dollars to warrant the raise either. So I think you're not really comparing apples to apples in this case. Well, and like we said a minute ago, it's all paper, so. So. Let me say, is this 12,000 that he's supposed to giving us back mm -hmm. from the taking away one of the money? Yeah, yeah. And he's asking for 27. So basically we're talking about giving him 15,000. Ba yeah, basically. <laughs> I don't, yes and no. Um, compared to that, that's one line item, I guess you could say, yeah. um, that where they're giving us $12,000. They're not giving us $12,000. It's just 12000 that we're not going to spend this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that may have already been out on that something else. line item. Yeah. That's the thing. Um, I'm all for... I think there are some questions that I think we need to figure out for sure and maybe get a you know a, a pretty firm answer on why only three or four employees are being compensated. I mean I think that's a fair question. Uh, three instead of four. Yeah, you know, Ken has four employees. And they ask him for raises for, for three, three of them. So we need to find that out. And I'm sure there's a logical explanation, but we need to we need to find that out. Um does somebody uh, I will Tom will you be okay doing yeah, that Tom. okay well, that is on the right board, so. yeah if you don't mind um, so just just find that out um, and one other thing and I've talked to Ken says and I don't you know I wish Ken says made a hundred thousand dollars a year but um, and I'm not I don't know if this should even enter into it or not but Ken Ken has been here what two or three years and we've got other department heads that's been here 20 years and what he's asking to put put him above these 20 years but two of them and almost right up there with a with the third one so so that's what's his salary now mm. I don't know, I've got it is that public is that, that public record I wouldn't say that. yeah it's public it's public record yeah can we can we can we get can we get a, a printout not right now not right now can we can we get a printout on on maybe department head salaries mm -hmm. got it right here and that, i would almost bet if it was a deal breaker he would sacrifice probably that raise he's requesting to make sure that the others got it i, I, I probably agree i agree with that i think and like i said i'm not saying not to give it to him i'm just i'm just Telling you the facts, what it's gonna. And I mean that's. We call that's that a problem, thirsty. right? I mean, you're opening up. Well, we hadn't decided that, but that would be well, a good night. Yeah, that'd be had, good. Yeah, that's our second uh, night. Get these down before then. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so, Karen, if you can just get yeah, us, Wednesday. whether you email it or, or print it out and give it to us. I mean. I can jot them down for you right now if you want to. No, that's, no okay. that's fine. Uh, just the sometime before, I, we're going to have to come back Thursday. Okay. But sometime before Thursday, if you could just get us, just the department heads, sure. uh, get us their salary. Well, you're probably going to need all of them because the same thing's going to happen with the magistrates to the others. So if, if that's really where y'all are going, with, is to look at all of them. Do you want anybody who provides you with everything? Might as well. Might as well. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting the, and I'm glad. Um, personally, I'm, I'm happy that I'm getting the feeling that this is something that we're, that we're even looking at entertaining. Correct. I mm -hmm. mean, it's not something we're just going to blow off and move on, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's. Uh, Let's move on because we just there. There are some questions that we need to answer. Uh, so let's move on to the next department, if that's okay with everybody. Did you have forget yeah. about HR? Can we go over the rest of their expense expenses so we can have that ironed out? Yeah, I mean, are there? That's what I'm saying. I mean, are there? If there's not any more questions, 
with the court expenses, the court department expenses, I mean, we can move on. Um, I don't have anything. The only one a little iffy is the appeals fees, and that takes mood swings. It does. Mm -hmm. Depending on who's appealing. I mean, there, there's really no way to, you can't budget for that. I mean, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's kind of like budgeting for workman's comp, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, now only 10 of you can get hurt this year. <laughs> Any more questions? No, I think we need to cut that in half. Yeah, I do too. I think we can get yeah, that'd be good. All right. It's only four of you will come hurt the fifth one. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we'll we'll go ahead and, and get that. Okay, civil service board expenses. This is what the mayor was referring to earlier. So they're asking for a the civil service board is requesting. At, go ahead, Jeff. What was AG? What did AG stand for? Administrative general. Mm -hmm. It's actually changed to AF now. Financial what? Financial. Cool. Mm -hmm. The civil service. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Look. Right there. Um, okay. The civil service board is requesting an increase of five hundred dollars a month for their administrator. Uh, I don't think he's really called an attorney or. I he, think is he is an attorney, but I think that they call him an administrator. Um, so, so that would be under administrative fee. It's actually down. No, um, the administrator's fee is down under appropriations. Okay. And contracts. Oh, okay. That one. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one line item. This is for the civil service board members and the testing expenses and that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. So. This is something that I wanted to talk about real quick. First off, Mayor, are you aware of any new publications, new additions, new amendments to the Civil Service Act? I mean, is this pretty much? Yeah, that's the only one. That's the one that we've been going by uh, forever, I guess. I don't know. No, there's no new. No, no additions or addendums. To okay, it. that's that that's know, my question. That I know of, no. So this is it. Y'all say this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I told the tale. That is administrative thing. I, I got my Rumsies mixed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, in my head it was down there, but that is the 12,000 that is requesting the 500 race. Okay. On that medium. The 12,000 includes the 500? No, it doesn't. We look okay. that straight. So we're looking at six more thousand. Six Correct. Thousand. So it'd be a total of eight. I'm sorry. Requested. Yeah. Okay. So you don't. Um. And that's on four, four two, on five two five. Mm -hmm. Four two five two five. Looking at what eighteen thousand? Yes. Sir. That's that's the increase from twelve to eighteen. Now the letter I got from them, and I can go get you. I can go get the letter right now if you want me to. But it says that that the civil service board voted. To increase that amount, as far and what it says in there is civil service board expenses. Or, so, I've got it right here, real quick, guys. What they're what they're asking for is five hundred dollar increase per month, six thousand dollars a year. That's a request. The civil service board has forwarded a letter to the mayor's office that said the civil service board has has agreed on that. They voted um, to do it. Yes. And per the act. Um, the city council or other governing body of such of such city shall provide for the salaries and expenses of the civil service board and shall provide in the annual budget an estimated appropriation to cover the salaries and expenses of such board. That would be an expense. So we're obligated, pretty much obligated, to to pay for that. Yeah, now, <clears throat> let me bring this up real quick. If you'll go to the first under the civil service board expenses. If you'll go to the very first line, regular pay. Karen, I'm assuming that is regular pay for the members. For the members. Okay. Mm -hmm. We budgeted in 3000 Last year, it was $4,100. Mm -hmm. They had additional meetings. Right, for an additional meeting. If I'm correct, we're paying them $100 per member per meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that correct? 
Okay. Yes. In the same section that that talks about of the, of the act that talks about how we've got to provide for the salaries and expenses, and you know we've got to pay you know their expenses. It starts with the compensation of the civil service board shall be ten dollars for each member for each meeting attended, not to exceed one hundred dollars per year for each member. And they're getting a hundred dollars a meeting. So basically, if they've got three members, that's three hundred dollars a year. Now, unless there's some ad amendment or some addendum, like Doug said. <coughs> To this act, we're not really following it. They're overpaid. <laughs> I mean, it says it doesn't. It it gives us it gives us a minimum, but it gives us a maximum too. They came to us back several years ago, and I don't remember whether they were still getting the ten dollars per meeting then or not. But they asked, and I don't even remember when it was, but it's been quite a while ago. But they asked. That's for the hundred dollars, and we we gave it to them then. But I don't I don't know what they were getting before we gave them. I guess we could go back and research yeah, that. Yeah, I, I think it was back for two thousand ten. Yeah, it's been it's been several years ago. So we <laughs> that's something we kind of need to figure out, guys. Um, you know. And that says, read that part again. The compensation of the Civil Service Board shall be $10 for each member for each meeting attended, not to exceed $100 per year per member. And right now we're paying them $100 a meeting. Man, and I've got, I'm going gonna... to... That was published when? I know it's still valid, but... Uh, August 17th, 1951, Act 428, House Bill, House Bill 428. So that means, though, that we don't have a choice in that matter. What's that? That's, the, I, that's, that's what we I have think. The, we have the powers expressly given to us by the legislature, and that's one of them. To... To me, it seems like we don't have a choice in either matter. It seems like we have to we have to compensate the administrator, but it seems as if we we're not really supposed to be paying them a hundred dollars a meeting. It, well, I mean, that leaves it up to what we decide to do. From the way I understand it, what do you mean between ten dollars and hundred dollars? No, 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 it no, 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 says, no. It says specifically. Listen. The compensation of the Civil Service Board shall be $10 for each member for each meeting attended, mm -hmm. not to exceed $100 per year, year per member. And they're getting $100 a month. So each member, basically, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not supposed to exceed $300 a year yeah. if there's three members. And we spent $4,100 last year. And there is a reason behind that to keep it from being, that's just a convenience fee of making, it, but once it becomes direct compensation, it, to alleviate the idea that they would malinger to get more money. Mm -hmm. Not saying they would, but that's the idea right, behind right. that. And, and we don't. That's the purpose behind that. And, and anything else we did would have to be much the same as the state legislature. They get paid a small amount. Yeah. But their expenses that's right. are added on, and that's that's right. That's how they get that up. So, so that would change our. But I, I guess what I guess what I what I'm asking I'm is on the same page with you. I've, I'm, that would be nine hundred dollars a year. No, three hundred. Three hundred dollars a year. Per, no, no, it's one hundred dollars a year per member. It's not like the state gives us a whole lot of leeway on that. I mean, do we have any leeway? Do we? I mean, I don't or see where we do. Now. now, let me ask you this: like you were just talking about the legislature, they get ten dollars a day too, right. but they get forty-five, forty-six hundred dollars a month 
for expenses, depending on how, uh, well, it depends on how far away you are and that kind of thing. Well, There's no, that's, that, yeah, that's, that, but there is a formula to some of that too. Yeah. The, you get, well, we won't go into all that, but that hundred dollars does 90 dollars per meeting. Is that to cover expenses? I mean, I mean, you follow me? I do. Okay. It would. Let's put it this way: it would have to be designated that way for it to be legal. That's what I'm thinking. And right now, I don't see a line item for civil service for you know expenses. I mean, I know it's all under one yeah. umbrella, but it would have to come down here under other civil service expense. That's what I would think, and there, that's what I'm, there's not anything in that amount. So, we got some work to do on that one. We got to figure that one out. Okay. Um, as far as the as far as the additional compensation for the administrator, I don't think we have a choice. And the letter specifically said, I mean, there he's got. Other employees in his office. It's not all going to him. It's other employees in the office. And, I mean, I, and I believe that. And, and you got expense for testing and all that stuff. That's yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's on there. Enough. Yeah, that's that's um, in there. But but it's not it's not like we can go in here in a council meeting next week and uh, we're going to change the civil service board or the civil service act. We can't do that. Right. Is there any rule that says they have the authority to meet more than once a month? They can meet as many times. They can meet as they meet as much as they want to. As they much as they need. Every time they meet. That's why there's a limit in the. I think that's probably in the like Tom said in the civil service in the act itself. That's why there is a cutoff for salary. I think that act says that they will meet once per quarter or something like that, which is or a minimum. There is a minimum, I believe, but is that what the meetings requirement is. I think it's once. They have to meet at least once per quarter, I think. Well, maybe I'm only got them. And I'm going to put them on the agenda for the first meeting in December. They want to That's come right. and talk. Yeah, we've already, yeah, we've already talked, talked about that. that. Looks like they met 14 times and one of them missed a meeting. One of them did. <laughs> one of them was sick. That's how the math comes out. With that okay, here we go. Minute. The uh, Civil Service Board shall hold regular meetings on the third Mondays in January, April, July, and October. So that's quarterly. Yeah. For the transaction of business and may hold special adjourned or called meetings at any time. What months were they? Uh, January, April, July, and October. Um, so that's that's fine. They can they can call as many meetings as they need to. But being compensated for every meeting they call, I think, is a violation of the act. Yes. I mean, am I reading that wrong? Well, that's, what, that's what that's what I was asking about the how many meetings they have a month. You know, if you said, well, I need some money, let's call it. And I agree with Tom. Well, one of the reasons why I asked about when that was published, I mean, that's a good while back, and times and money and things have changed. But that doesn't give us the leeway yeah. to compensate them pay-wise any differently. That's now, right. We could. I don't. I hadn't read through there and found, I guess we could find some expense in there, but... Mm -hmm. That's 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 trading. You got on. the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not driving to Montgomery and spending days. No, no, they're not. And that's pretty clear cut. So, with that being said, it's not a matter of want to. Yeah. Should we call and verify? I think it's a conversation that needs to be had. Yeah. I'll verify what? That that has not been updated. Yeah. Um, of course, Trish would know for sure. But, um, huh? Probably. Uh -huh. Like I don't remember what they were making 
what they were getting before we increased it to a hundred dollars. I don't know if it was. I don't want to go to jail. Was more than 10, right? That's right. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know, Billy. I mean, do I? I mean, do I think 10 is is outrageous? Yeah, they, would, they need to get more than 10 dollars a meeting. But once again, I don't see how we we don't have the authority to change that. The council doesn't have the authority to change it. Now, if we did get some sort of other sort of expense thing in there mm -hmm. that might be a different horse of a different color mm -hmm. but i think we need yeah definitely so that, guys i'm going uh, the question as to whether that has been updated is a right. is one that needs to be right researched um that doesn't qualify you need to cut this lot out here <laughs> there you go <laughs> So do we want to just do we want to just not do anything with the civil service board right now until yeah. we find out some stuff? Okay. And like I said, we did not put the additional six thousand right. dollars in the budget. So. Right. Do you want me to go ahead and add that? Or. Well, let's right. wait until we find out something. Um, well, while the question is being asked, if that has that ten dollars per meeting per member, not to exceed a hundred dollars per year, if that has not been updated and changed through the act itself then the question is whether the act does require us to do that to fund the the other I mean it can't hurt to ask why you're yeah that's right that's right make sense absolutely and these people are appointed by the government right? correct mm -hmm. all right um police department real quick is there's no capital, no police cars, no body cameras. We put the cameras. Cam the cameras, cameras are in the police in, departments, yeah. but okay. Yeah. All right. No where, cars. Where, the, where is the body camera? Down close to the bottom is your last budgeted expense, eleven thousand five hundred, and we oh. have that expense in there, and it's to be subsidized from the capital. Now where? Cash account. Oh, over here. Okay, Four seven zero zero five. On the bottom of that page, yeah. Mm -hmm. This. Other capital expenses. Yes, sir. Okay, so the request is one fifty. That's for cars. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do about that, Mayor? Well, we're gonna have to buy some cars. We're, how many are? We're gonna have to buy. We've asked three. for three. That's Tahoes with a with a package. And they're about forty thousand dollars each. By the time you add all the stuff, we may can get by with two. This year, but we got to buy something. We've got to buy. We've got to start looking at it. I mean, we we can't go two years without buying cars because those Dodges are not holding up like they need to be. And um, so we're replacing you know, all the of them right now. Are no, we're not going. We're going. Yeah, we're going. That's what we're talking about doing is going to Tahoes instead of Dodges. Uh, Chevrolet don't have a good. When you can get the put a good car. I mean, they don't yeah. make Crown Vicks anymore. So. Uh, well, the Tahoes, the Tahoes hold up. Yeah. Because I mean, there, there's no doubt because Childersburg is using Tahoes that they Mountain Brook threw. That Mountain Brook and Hoover, Hoover, Hoover threw away. Yeah, Hoover. Hoover got rid of. And just so, just about all the police departments now are going to Tahoe. They are. So, they're a little bit more expensive, but they should. They should last a little longer, but they'll also up your gas expenses. Expense. They it's really don't. Up. That's the thing. There's. Not a huge difference in gas expense between the Tahoes and these cars that we're driving now. There's really not. So like what I thought, you know, we can yeah. do is just not. <laughs> and I told Chris that we was not going to put them in the budget. And our fire department's asked for another car. I said we're not going to put that in the budget either. But you know, as the year goes on, we'll see kind of our needs, and you know, maybe we may can get by with ordering one new car this year or something. We'll yeah, just kind of watch it and. I know that we're not on the fire department yet, but because you just <clears throat> brought it up there, one of the things that Matt proposed when he first came in is budgeting a certain amount of capital funds every year with the idea of having a schedule of that money being put back every year so that when they do have to have an expense to replace the big trucks that they would 
have the have the money built up in an account. And that but that, that amount is like fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year. So that's, and it has not that. been been instituted. I mean, okay. yeah, I'd love to be able to do that, but we just don't have the money to to fund that right now. We so. should get them bicycles. <laughs> you should. And, and water guns. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um. I, guys, I really don't have anything on... Well, trout date. Well, I'm sorry. I'm no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Chris has asked for a little bit more money, and we put a little bit more in there for the uniforms because he's he's still transitioning from the from the old to the new, and, and uh, we don't have everybody outfitted with coats yet. So uh, they can wear their old coats till we get them. But, but we put put a little more money in there for, for his... Um, Uniforms, and I think that was. What else did we up that, Karen? Anything? Mm -hmm. The. Um, did we up his travel and training? Any? Where was it? Actually, we took it down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Travel. Yeah, the travel was. Um, Travel and training down 32. It was down from what they budgeted anyway. Mm -hmm. The dues are up a little bit, but he had all that itemized to the penny, so that's yeah. not inflated. Um, what is employee expense? It was down so much last year. Employee it went from, expense. It's on uh, 518. It went from $5,000 budgeted to 1949. Where is that? Third from the bottom on page 11. Oh, That's fire it. on a different page. Right? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, what line number? 518, 42, 518. Okay. It'll say employee expense. Yeah, I see it. We budgeted six, six, five in the last three years. We they were at spent roughly 2000 What is that expense? What's that for? Well, it's, um, it's not pre-employment testing, but it's post-employment. <coughs> I mean, employee drug testing, um, accidents, that sort of thing. You told me incur costs there. Hang on a second, I'll tell you exactly what we spent out of it this year. Because we've spent, we spent, we spent you know, three year average is $5,142. We spent as little as $644, as much as $10,000. We were down to what we spent, but the average is right there what you're requesting. I just wonder what that mm -hmm. employee expense was for. Right now, I can't. Drug testing. testing. Zach, this That's is the most of it. I mean, there's just little bitty, you know, $11 to Walmart here and there, but most of it is for drug testing this year that we've spent. And then there's the, um, you know, the employees program that we have for counseling and things like that is in there as well. So it just depends on how much we use that's it. Not, that's not the, uh, the college, the police academy, is it? No. Mm -mm. So in the last four years we spent $4,000, I'm sorry, $10,000 down to four thousand dollars, down to six hundred fifty-four dollars, and last year we were up to two thousand dollars. And I will tell you that's sort of a change because we, for a while, there wasn't a fine line drawn between pre-employment qualifying expense and post expense, and now we've declared employee to be post. So we kind of reclassified things to make it a little clearer, and I think that'll it'll take shape over years to come. So your history is a little convoluted, but I think we'll detail. I will look at that one. So we don't. Think. Um, the only the only other question I have with the police department, and let me preface this by saying, you know, I, this is not something that I'm, I don't think we need to cut out vacation pay, but if you look under the third line under the police department expenses, the budget is, you know, almost 15. Last year it was 90, almost $91,000 unaudited. Where are you? That'd be police forty. Department. That'd be four ten ninety five. Third line under police department. Is that accurate? 
Namely. That's what I had it highlighted. It might not be accurate, but it said it was ninety thousand year before, or in twenty. Yeah, the year before was ninety thousand also. In thirteen. The last, the three-year average is ninety-one thousand. Yet, we budgeted twelve thousand, twelve thousand, and fourteen thousand. That's that's my question. Yeah. That's why I'm bringing that up. Then the budget this year is for nineteen thousand. Now we only when we're budgeting vacation pay, we're not actually budgeting what we're paying everybody for vacation pay. We're budgeting what people opt to take as cash in lieu of a week's vacation once they're eligible. Does that make sense? It, once the other vacation pay is in their regular pay. Right. This is those who forego the, the, time, the time for a week's pay. That's an option once you hit five years, I think. Is, and don't yeah. quote me on that, but I yeah. think it's something like that. We so that's all that, that is, is. I think more and more people are taking the money instead of the time. Well, I mean, I guess my thing is, you know, and that's fine. It's theirs. They sure. do what they want to with it. However, I mean, if we are traditionally spending 90 grand, should we be budgeting 90. 20? <laughs> and it's not something that we make them declare. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, so it's yeah, not like an RSVP it. kind of situation. Yeah. Got, we're just kind of, I don't know why it's not more than that. It's kind of. A, but you think that's accurate? No, it's probably going to be closer to. Fourteen. No. Well, I mean, I'm it's asking too hard to say. I really don't know. Chris would be a better person to ask because he, he knows what his employees are kind of doing right. But you don't think that number from fiscal year unaudited is a mistake? You don't think that's an error? Mm, it matches what I've got on this report. Okay. However, when it comes to HR issues, it's a different module, so I don't get the detail if it's a payroll expense. I'll but ask, I'll, I can pull it. I'll ask it just takes a little more. Okay. Just, uh, well, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, Let's find that out. That's really the only thing I have with the police department. Um, do we want to do, do we want to go ahead and put? And I know it's going it's going to mess us up. But <laughs> do we want to go ahead and put a car in the budget? I mean, what do you, what what were your thoughts behind? I mean, even though you know we're going to have to have a car or two. Well, right now we we've got three. a little bit of, we've got a little bit of money in the uh, capital budget. Okay. Um, and I thought, you know, I thought maybe we'll just kind of give it a few months and see what happens. Um, you know, after the first of the year, take another look and might order one car and just kind of, as long as as long as we don't wreck one, then we're not not in too bad a shape. But that that could hurt us if we if we were to wreck a couple of them. We have wrecked three at one time, so. But you don't have cars in here. No, there's no cars in there right now. So, but I mean, I thought, you know, just kind of wait and see and uh, after the first of the year, okay. maybe, maybe uh -huh. order one or... Can we, to Tom's point, we do regularly, as y'all know, put money back into that capital fund. What we're lacking is the plan of how that's going to be used for, you know, phasing in and out vehicles and that sort of thing that we need to do. But... To that end, we have a little over 500000 in the capital budget because we've been making those budgeted transfers over time. So can we commit to getting them one in the first half? And then looking it would have at, to come out of the capital fund pretty much. And then looking at one in the second half possibly, if we can do it then? Yeah, yeah we can do that. I mean, we can certainly do that. But. Well, you know, I mean, like I said, we just took all the capital out of, of all departments except you now we put Willie's. We found that used tractor for thirty. We saved about a hundred thousand yeah, dollars. We, had to, get, we so had to do that. Put it back in there, and um, but all the rest of the capital except the body counters we took out. Anybody mm -hmm. call Mountain Brook? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> get some used ones. We also put Eddie's in there. There were three things: the tractor yeah. for the street department. Eddie's vehicle and the body cams. Those are the three capital items we had in. All right. All right. Fire department. B. 
big thing wait, on the wait, fire department. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Okay. I'm looking back at the police department on the Metro Jail contract. Mm-hmm. 45505. We spent 185, 492 last year on a budget of 228. The three-year average is 199, but you're requesting 228 again. I think they have a price increase this year, didn't they? Wait, I'm sorry, I had to scooch right down and now not up there. That's some car money right there. Well, it's not that it's not right. It's that there. That's one of those you don't know till you get there. Kind of. We're billed for overages. Actually, as of this date, we've spent two hundred thousand. So, even getting that last bill, two hundred thousand three seventy-two. I think we got a letter from him saying that was going to there was a price increase mm -hmm. per head. I don't remember, but I just remember fifteen thousand a month. Yes, sir. Uh, it's just under that a month usually. Like I said, if we have a whole lot of overages, it'll you know mm -hmm. I've got. Up over 20. Yeah. I think we're paying for what, 12 beds a day? Okay. So, Mayor, you're going to get with Chief and find out about that that's, uh, vacation thing? Yes. All right. All right. Are we putting in any cars or waiting? Um, just Come back to me. Yeah, I'd say I'd say let's just kind of hold off for if we budget, the rest of this calendar year, and then look at it after the first of the year and see. If, if we can budget two hundred on that metro jail instead of two twenty eight, commit well, to the car in the first. Well, the the problem with that is like what she just said. It, that one eighty five actually turned into two hundred, but our three year average is two hundred. And there's an increase. And this I think year. we got some information from them. A letter or something. About an increase, so I hate to keep y'all waiting while I dig, but I think it was based off of some information that we had gotten mm -hmm. from Tallahassee County. Okay. And that would have to come out of <clears throat> for anyone still. I know it's too late to be build a jail for us, but this was cheaper than us maintaining a jail. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah. How much? How much were we spending to do that? Do you remember? Well, I mean, we had the expense of the jail, and then we had to pay all the jailers and and all that. We had to have somebody there twenty four hours a day, and yeah, and liability and uh, upgrades that the states and the feds were requiring. And we were getting close to the point where we were going to have to do some serious upgrades in the jail. Yeah. Figures, but I'd say the liability savings, liability insurance savings. I'm telling what the savings are. Yeah. 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 King, if you just want to let us know oh, when yeah. you get there, oh, yeah. we'll move on. Uh, fire department. Really, the only change in the fire department, like I said, he asked for a truck, a pickup truck, which was, you know, he wanted to put 38000 but I didn't put any capital. Big thing last year, we 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 budgeted one part-time fireman per shift for every every shift that we work, um, and we had problems 
keeping our, we had to get more part time. So anyway, wound up our overtime. We spent about a hundred thousand dollars on overtime in the fire department last year. This year, I want to. We're going to try to budget one and a half part times. And what it, what that means is he's going to, uh, if he sees vacation coming, then he's going to go ahead and schedule a part time to to take their place. But we're going to schedule one part timer per shift, no matter what. And then the other half, if, if somebody's going to take vacation, now if somebody calls in sick, if we've already got a part two part timers there, we we won't have to. It should keep our overtime down. And we also increased his overtime to uh, what sixty thousand, Karen, or was mm -hmm. it forty? Yeah, he asked for. Yeah. He asked for four. He asked he for two part timers and two part timers, two part timers per shift, and forty thousand overtime. We gave him one and a half part timers per shift and forty and sixty thousand. Forty thousand. Was it forty? It was okay. 40. Is, does this reflect the three captains? Yes, well. We've got the three captains in there. Yes. Uh, making any headway on getting three captains? Well, yeah, we've got some some issues whether or not to make them overtime exempt. Um, we have not decided that, and then then we've got to. There's a couple of couple of things that we got to get ironed out before we. I was talking about specifically finding three. They can make it through the system. Three lieutenants that can go to captain. Yeah. Well, we, we, we should. Um, Mayor, I don't know if, if you've spoken with Matt about this or not, but in the fire department, there seems to be a need for some administrative help. Um, have you thought about? You know, maybe, maybe working on that. I mean, have you spoken with him about that at all? Administrative, as in? As like an admin, like every other department has. Other, other than what, what it'll do if we have the, if we make the captains. You're talking about? No, I'm, t I'm talking about. You know, well, like a clerk. Yeah, like, like a, a clerk. Like you know, the street department has, and you know, shop has, and some sort of, you know. Has he expressed a a wish for that? Yeah. To you? Yeah. It's not um, something he brought up to me. So uh, he and I have have not had that conversation either. So I don't know. Yeah. Um, you know, right now he's kind of it. <laughs> you know. And, it might not be a bad idea. Yeah, specify what their job would be as far as. Well, you know, they would be be somebody in, you know, somebody there all the time. You're talking about like Alyssa in the street department. Correct. Oh. Okay. Or, um, you know, Cassie in the police department. something to think about. Well, let me show you. I found it. Okay. Okay. The prisoner per diem rate is corresponding to the consumer price index. In June 2013, it was 230.02. In 2014, in June, it was 234.702. So our part of that is 15,123.15. And then per diem charges will be 41.43 when the average daily inmate count in any particular month exceeds 12 and 52.94 per head when it's over 14. So that's, prob up. that's probably a pretty good number. Because mm -hmm. it's 180-something just with no overages. Well, I'd hate, I'd hate to take that back down. Yeah. 181,478, Joe, with no overages whatsoever. And once again, like most everything in this budget, it's unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you answered my you answered my overtime question because I had it highlighted. I'm sure you figured yeah. you would. Uh, I told Matt I want to want he and I to watch that real closely this next year, and you know 
if it starts upward trend like it, like it did last year, then I want to try to get on top of it and maybe do something before it gets that out of hand. Yeah. So. Uh, again, vacation pay. We can find out kind of what's going on with that. Um, it's not as much as the police department was, but it's still a big number compared to what's budgeted. What's this National Guard pay? That's when they go to, to yeah, drill. They're on. If they get it. Do have? I don't know. I don't know how many. I know too specifically. But, you know, we have to pay them. When, they, have to pay them. when they go to drill. Some account. And yeah. they get paid for the by the National Guard too. Y yes. Oh, yeah. But that's. So we just pay them in regular salary. Yeah. For the day. Just to that's right. Build. Yeah, we don't have a choice in that one. Um, so yeah, just the vacation pay, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's a big number again. And I mean, you probably just need to look at the formula. That, just look at why the number is so big. Yeah. Um, is there Here's a clarification? Is, is there a reason? I'm sure there's a reason. What is the reason that we don't budget sick pay. We don't have a, a number. I know it's unpredictable. I got gotcha. you. And again. So is everything else. So bear with us because I mean normally this is something that HR handles. Okay. So we're we're going with the formulas that have always been in place and it may be something that we want to look at changing. Okay. It's just we always just put it on regular pay and okay. let it fall down and it's never been so far out of whack that it's caused so I, okay. I think it was under that's, the, that's fine. it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. One, one question that just came to me, uh, is this 11 months or 12? Where are you? The whole thing. 12. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, hope it, I hope it's 12 months. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're, we're, we're edging close to the end of the tent. Yes, we are. It's just 20. All right. Any more fire department stuff? I think I did a little back from, from the bottom, bottom, of the camp, bottom of the department. Um, You're good? Okay. So, maybe you're going to handle those vacation questions, right? I will. It seems to be, I've got it highlighted in every department. Yeah. I mean. And it's not the first time we've asked these questions. Okay. It's just, yeah. Well, we can and, revisit them and, and modify them to make them more reasonable. And, and like I said. You can ask for HR questions. It's just, yeah. I'll call her. Well, it's all of them. I mean, street department. Street department. That's what I'm saying. I've got, it, I've got it highlighted in every department. So, I just, uh, and I know there's a reason, and look, I'm not saying we shouldn't pay. We should, we're, we're doing what we need to do. Sure. But we just need some clarification yeah. as to how It's hard to understand when it's not itemized and it's all grouped right. one, and then we that's pay right. it out of the others. So, I like all those transfers? Kind of, but the transfers are, they're, they're there. You just have to look. You have to dig a little deeps. But it, may, it looks <laughs> to me like that. The vacation and sick pay is in the regular pay because we're going to pay them anyway, whether right. they're sick or on vacation. So I, I don't know. We'll find out why that number is big, though. We're working that. The answer is I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. If sick pay is <laughs> when they come to work anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. We'll have that answer Thursday night. Though. Okay. We... All right, street department. Um, this is not anything that I, I want to change. But I would just like to bring attention to line four three zero zero one. Auto gas and oil expense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Down twenty is over twenty thousand under budget. Due to changes in rates and fuel prices that's, according to the street car. That's that's a pretty big deal. It is. That's I mean, they're doing a good job over there, guys, so um, well, let me say this, and I know it's whether we can control it or not control it, but I've seen these people that pick up the trash off the street and stuff, 
drive by three times and circled the block three times before they stopped and picked it up. <coughs> Why would you not stop the first time and pick it up? You know, and I'm, I'm serious, but I've seen it happen at my house. And I know I've been traveling over this town and I've seen it in other places. The same truck rides by three times? You want me to find out for you? Well, now I know they'll do one side of the street and then come back to the other side, but not three times. And something else I asked Tommy to do, that when they pick up the big stuff and just leave the small stuff in the street, why can't they get a 30-inch broom and a 20-foot weight shovel and sweep it all up and keep it, when it rains, going down to the, the gutter end of the tour? Because all they pick up just the big stuff. They don't. You talk about leaves and leaves stuff. Leaves and small limbs and stuff. Is the street safe? No, it looks like to me they just, with a broom and a shovel, get it off. Street safe works in the same district they're in every day, you know. So. Well, those are, you know, some questions that, that we can ask Tommy for sure. If the street sweeper's coming right behind them, yeah. that could be why. But I, it could be the reason. So the street sweeper follows the same, same route. The street day. sweeper works in the same district that they do. And I don't know. I don't know if he follows right behind them. He or doesn't. Not. I think he. I think he kind of lets them get started, yeah. and then comes in and starts going behind them because he would catch up yeah. in a hurry. I mean, the street sweeper would catch up with those yeah, guys. Like faster than three times right well, yeah. <laughs> he has to stop and load up with water too. Yeah. Yeah. Now with me, that's that's. They do that everywhere. That's a waste of gas right there, you know, just riding around. Yeah. And I don't know, Billy, I'll, I'll ask that question, but I, I know that, you know, they pick up different things on different trucks and so forth. And let me go back to this a little bit. This don't pertain to the city, but it the utility board. Back years ago, I'm working midnights at Big color and every day at 11 o'clock, two men come out and shoot basketball at the church every day. At Three o'clock, they come back and shoot basketball to four. Well, after about a week of me working midnight and me seeing this every day, you know, and I'm paying a utility bill, I thought, this just ain't right, you know. So I called Virginia West, and when they was out there shooting basketball, in about three minutes, she showed up. And I didn't see that happen no more. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I guess if I hadn't been working midnight, it wouldn't have been so bad, but, you know, you don't feel good anyway, you know. But, so y'all did get that. It was Billy that turned you in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. You had to say the basketball fine. I wouldn't work like that. Uh, shop, or, or read through street department. Y'all got anything? Street department. Okay. Shop department. Uh, vacation pay is, is still up, but not as much. You know, that's the question that I think is going to get answered. Mm -hmm. uh, I literally have nothing. I have one. All right. On 503, we have dues subscriptions. We budget 2500 Um August it was $40 last year. 503, dues and subscription, $2,500. We paid $2,100, $2,100, but we... I mean, we budgeted $2,100, $2,100, $2,500. Yeah, it's... We paid same, $40. And I need to look that up. I, I think I've talked to Ed. There was, there might have been a program or that diagnostics thing. The, yeah, he's. he's it was three thousand dollars. Yeah, right? that might have been where we put that. Um, I'll ask that question when we get thing back. I think it's something he was going to get. But I remember he, he never. He and I talked about something, a computer program or something. I'll have to let me let me check that. We're budgeting twenty five hundred, but. Last year we paid forty dollars. Probably needs to be put down under a more appropriate line item than that. Maybe so. Well, I'll I'll find out what it is and then we'll. All right. Anything else? Shop. All right. Planning yeah. department. Um, the only thing I've got on the planning department, guys, is this. Uh, it'd be line four one five zero seven. And that is a $40,000 request for zoning manual update expense. Is, is that is that something that you're gonna, well, Mayor, that you're gonna just kind of hang out? That's a 
41507. We didn't put it in there. Uh-uh. Right, I, I okay. see that, yeah. Yeah. That, what they're wanting to do is they're wanting another comprehensive plan, and, and we're working on a, another plan, maybe getting this ACE grant to help us with the comprehensive. Yeah. And uh, That's what that would be for, not zoning manual update. Well, it was actually, it was uh, the comp plan, and we're, they're, they're about, they're working right now on the, Subdivision regulation, so. Which brings me back down to uh, 425.23, that publication and ordinance expense. There is nothing there, and we had already approved that. It took a little bit longer for them to work out a few details on that. Uh, but did they set a, a public hearing last week? Do you know? On that, well, the, on that, for the, the, the subdivision, subdivision regulation. regulations. Tom, I don't remember. Um, but that was something that we had already approved last yeah, year. The public, yeah, publication. So, and they were able to. The one thing we don't have do to publish stuff like that in the the whole thing in the paper like we used to. Now right. we can we can just put a notice in the paper saying that it's posted at City Hall or whatever. We don't have to. Well, I believe that on that particular one, they were going to do it as a, an insert. An insert, yeah. That yeah. one did need to be done that way. It was determined, but it was significantly paper. less yeah. than uh, taking up well, we got a whole new section of the paper. We got $500 for a subdivision re review fee in here. That's, that that's different. That's something different. And there's that ten thousand dollar for the strategic plan. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. the subdivision review fee expense goes to the engineer, the designated engineer, if there is something that comes up. You notice that in the twenty fourteen unaudited, there was none because we had none. All right. So if you talk about line by line, that's what that was. Yeah. And it's consumed quite a bit of oh, planning commission time. And it's, it was important. I mean, All right, now was, what, what are our questions there on the? Publication, ordinance expense. Which number was it? Uh, five, or 425.23. Uh, for some reason, somewhere in that 35 to $3,800 range was what we had Voted on last year. So in case of orders, there's nothing in there. So you know, right. that's what you're saying. And they did request it simply because it was on from last year and they don't work by fiscal year in their minds. So. Can we do a budget amendment? What now? Are we supposed to have done a budget amendment on it? Yeah. There was one more one. And what was the other one? Or was there? He had a question on the subdivision re review fee expense, and that's we goes to that engineer if it has yeah, to be ten thousand one strategic plan. Well, that forty thousand request was under zoning manual update, mm -hmm. which is basically the comprehensive plan. They cannot be divided. Comprehensive land use plan is actually the name of the comprehensive plan, which is basically the zoning ordinance. All right, code department expenses. Um, the only thing I had there um, is down towards the bottom at four five zero one two. That is a tree maintenance expense, I'm assuming. Yes. Well, back up just uh, one second. And, and uh, we're talking about we asked. We're talking about the request for raises. We had a request in the in the codes for a raise for Shannon Plexico and Mike Whetstone. And in the street department, we had a request for pay raises for uh, I think three 
street department employees. So okay. when we're talking, when we're talking, and we'll try to get all that, all those figures. Yeah. Before Thursday night. Yeah, we need that. We need that Thursday. Mm -hmm. So you just want me to put what it is, what they're requesting, what grade would be required to sure. make those changes? Sure. That's fine. And like I said, there's also been some in the police department that, that Chris and I have talked about, but we didn't put it in. He, he never made a formal request, so we didn't put it in the budget. So, But there are several employees that have been, or the department heads I've asked for, for raises for them. So. Well, we need that. You know, if we're going to, if we're going to, going to consider it, we need that. Yes, we, we have, need to consider all of them. Yeah. Um, okay, code department, uh, like I said, towards the bottom of the page, 45012, tree maintenance expense. Joe, do you have a three-year, or does anybody have a three-year average on that line? I do. All right. Tree maintenance? Yeah. I have that high too. <coughs> three-year average is $12,284. $12, and last year, we budgeted $25,000. We spent $7,000. This year, we have $35,000. Mm -hmm. He was right at the end of the year trying to get some dead trees cut. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. He didn't get it. He didn't get the work completed in that fiscal year, and so those dead trees are still in need of cutting. But it's too late to incur those expenses in fourteen. So that's why it's. Is it going to take it up? But it's going to take the money to cut all those trees that he's got. We've missed. got a bunch of them that are that are dead, and it's going. to $28,000 part. Well, it don't take long cutting trees to get $28,000 worth. So. Okay. Um, I don't know. He, he and I talk about that pretty regular, and you know, we're going to watch it. But, um, you know, I'm, I was just, you know, I was just thinking, you know, if, if what'd you say the 12 year average? I mean, 12 year average. The three, <laughs> three year average was? Three year average is $12,284. So, what line out of is that? It's $45,012. Because Eddie does it, Eddie. <clears throat> Oversees the work. You know, the last, the last. That's true. That's our average. Our average is twelve thousand dollars, but the last three years, starting the last year, we spent seventeen thousand. Year before that was ten thousand eight hundred. Year before that was nine thousand. We've gone from nine, spending nine to ten to seventeen to budgeting twenty-five last year. Now up to thirty-five. To I understand having a bunch of them left over from last year that he didn't get to, but and like Karen said, there was I think ten thousand dollars worth that that we we got prices on last year, but we carried the it, we carried it over. Yeah. Here. Was of a factor and last year you mean twenty fourteen? <laughs> yeah. Like. So if you add that ten thousand to what we. You did 17. With 17. We're still budgeting 20, 35 this time. Basically doubling. Can we, can we not go back to 25,000? Let, let me talk to Eddie about that and see what we, exactly what we talked about there. Okay. That's all I had under code department. Thank you. All right. Um, you got anything? Anybody got anything? Yeah. All right. And we also put, we've been, we put Eddie's, Eddie another vehicle in there last year and we didn't get it, so we put it back in there this year. That's so. good. Where's it at? Is that because he didn't get his cleaned out? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's on uh, 47001, I think, right? <laughs> get him out of it. That was me. I'm sorry. But right now we've got him. We got him happy. He's in a. He's in one that's got air conditioning. Oh, that's all he needs then. <laughs> yeah, need that coming up pretty soon. <laughs> that was what they lured him out of the old truck. That's right. The air conditioning. New one. It's cool over here, Eddie. Yeah. Eddie. Yeah. Um, BNC. Ben Billy and Cassidy. Okay. I didn't have anything highlighted there, guys. <laughs> Did y'all building and custodian? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I do. That's you. That's you. That's your expense. Okay. 
All right. But we're budgeting twenty five hundred. Where are you, Jim? On um, forty five oh thirteen. Ground maintenance. We're budgeting twenty five hundred, but our three year average is four hundred thirty seven dollars. We spent nine hundred ninety eight last year on a twenty five hundred dollar budget. I think there's some work that needs to get into the sprinkler system, but I can uncheck with Ben because I'm um, okay. I'm kind of going off some stuff that I've sketched. What over is the grounds side. maintenance just on the property here? Mm -hmm. Well, also, yeah, so it's um the oh. fourth street too. Mm, well, I think Willie's doing Fourth Street. Yeah, yeah, we did do some sprucing up at Fourth Street, and we we've, we've been uh, we started last year. I don't think it's that much, but we spray for we spray a couple times a year for uh, weeds and different things. So well, my my suggestion on this is if our four year average is four hundred thirty seven dollars. Three year average four hundred thirty seven dollars, and we're going to budget twenty five hundred dollars of that. Let's cut that back to more, a more realistic number, and put some of those dollars to the street or whoever it is to take care of the the planters and the crepe myrtles on Broadway and Norton. Yeah, well that's fine, but let let me see let what somebody that is. find let somebody talk and see what we got to do with the sprinklers. When I checked on that, the street department doesn't do it. They said it's the beautification council. The beautification council says we don't do it except on a volunteer basis. So there's nobody handling the, the freight myrtles and all the decoration on Broadway and Norton right now. You're right. So if that number's not accurate, I'd like to see us put that where we can get that cleaned up down there. I'm pretty but sure it would be in street if it was, because Ben's not doing it. Yeah, not doing no, no. But just find out what that sprinkler stuff okay. is. What's what what the extra money is for? Yeah, that's right. Uh, guys, there's really nothing, really nothing uh, in the HR department. I mean, we, we don't, as of right now, we don't have that department. So, um, budget for somebody? Well, we budget, we budget, to, we took out three, three months. Mm -hmm. It's only for nine months. Yeah, because we're obviously not going to get anybody until probably going to be the first of the year now. Okay. All right. Any questions there? Uh, inmate labor expenses. I mean, we're budgeting five grand. Uh, we were 28 last year. I think that's going to be for two. Yeah, make we, sure that number hasn't gone up. We've been getting inmates to do a lot of work on the And we've been getting a lot of work out of inmates. Yeah. And That's good. I mean, really, it's kind of I, I know it's, I, I've got this highlighted because I kind of laughed when I saw it. I don't know. But <laughs> no, but there's a $219 spot for vacation pay. I mean. Uh, we, you were right. Do, yeah. are, we, I mean, are we getting... Let me look. No, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware they had vacation. That's the one that escaped from the park. I thought, that, yeah. I thought it was a vacation when they did that. Well, like I said, it's a <laughs> trivial amount, but I thought it was kind of comical that we were paying our inmate labor force for vacation. vacation. <laughs> well, it's obvious. We have extra time with the basketball. Court. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, any, any questions, inmate labor? No. Guys, I think this is a good stopping point. Um, I, it's, yeah. a, it's been almost two hours. After two hours, this stuff starts looking uh, starts looking the same. We pretty much got the departments knocked out with, with the exception of a few questions that we need answered. Um, what time do we want to get together on Thursday? That was Social Security pay. We didn't, we didn't pay any questions. Okay. <laughs> um, what time do you want to get together Thursday? Same bat time, same bat channel. Five o'clock? One time after four. Okay, let's do five then. Let's do five o'clock. And uh, y'all look over these appropriations because that's what we're going to be hitting. Like I said, we're going to go back and answer those questions that we have. I'd really like, I'd really like to get this finished Thursday night.
you know, I think we can. Time. We can get answers to some of that we discussed tonight. And Do you want me to email those right to you? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. Um, all right. Karen just brought up something. Trish is sick today, and Karen's not going. Karen's going to be gone on Thursday night, so there's a possibility if Trish. Uh, she said she was starting to feel better, but she was, okay. she's very sick today. And just so you know, if yeah. she's not back Thursday night, we may have to put this meeting off because she's. Well, we can still do what we need to do. And well, but we're gonna we gotta have somebody to drive like Karen's doing. So well, yeah, we can, we can make we can, we can, we can make go notes. Through, yeah, we can we can that. make notes of what we're and doing. appropriations. We yeah, can go we can make notes. And, okay, we're gonna we're gonna give this this bunch this much, and we can all make notes and yeah. and then relay those. To yeah, Karen. you're right. We can still. Yeah, we need to meet Thursday. What do you mean? Thursday morning. Well, that means Wednesday. We gotta get together and get all this stuff. All right. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> uh, oh, guys that are doing the parade tomorrow.